the Heckler and Coke 416 was one of the real hits with the evaluators. This takes some of the lessons from the G36, the XM8, which was part of the, the Objective Individual Combat Weapon Development Program that HK was involved in until recently, and they're still competing for that contract. But uh, our evaluators were nearly unanimous in their praise for how clean this weapon stayed while firing. One of them even remarked that uh, this is the weapon we ought to go to war with right now to start manufacturing these and forget the other competitions that are underway. As a free-floating forend can be removed and it can be reinstalled with no loss in zero. It's a cold hammer forged barrel, meaning uh, it is a much more reliable, heavy-duty barrel. We're experiencing uh, very, very good accuracy with the 10-inch guns. We have a 10-inch, uh, we have a 10-inch gun at the factory that's ex uh, exceeded 12,000 rounds and still shooting minute of angle. No heat transfer. That's what I was going to say. It's not hot. Not hot. It's not dirty either. Yeah, exactly. It's no dirt, no debris. It's amazing. Look at how clean the bolt face is. Mm -hmm. We've gone through, I think we're on our second case of ammo. Feel the bolt. Pretty clean. I yeah, feel it. Cold. Oh, yeah. yeah. No heat transfer. And it's clean too. Forever. Yeah, and it's obvious. It's so, is well. that a, a piston you're using? Or? Yeah, we're using a rod that pushes the, the uh, okay. bolt to the rear right here. With the bolt open, you can now remove the gas system, so you just pull the pusher rod to the rear. This stays as one assembly. If you notice, there's no dirt at all on it. Yep. We've been firing it all day. Clean. Okay. And then you pull out your piston, and this is the part that they would clean. Single plane rail on the front. We have diopter sights. We have a flared magazine well. Recoil and handling is very similar to the uh, original weapon, but. Uh, I was amazed at the cleanliness of the bolt and chamber as a result of the new uh, uh, gas system similar to the AK-47, the Kalashnikov. There are other people that have done that. There's a guy named Al Zitter from uh, ZM Weapons. He incorporated it into his system too a long time ago, but uh, it's taken a while for it to catch on commercially. The, uh, the 10 and a half and the 14 are both outstanding. I mean, the function on them is really good. They run clean. They don't seem to be as hot as I would have expected an N16 to be at that point. So. Very nice. Accurate, too. Everybody's familiar with the MP5's type sights. The big difference here, obviously, is that when you turn the drum, you're actually affecting elevation. Uh, whereas the MP5 was just a different aperture to, uh, they had one for close quarter battle versus one for extended ranges, to give you a little finer sight picture. So, uh, like I said to Jim, it's kind of a combination of some old stuff, you know, the best of the old, with some brand new, uh, uh, ideas uh, incorporated into that uh, very familiar platform. Personally, I think it, yeah, I think it'd be a good replacement for uh, for M4 systems uh, and M16 systems. Eventually, the M the M4 as a shortened M16 has got some uh, has got some issues associated with shortening the system overall and the function of the components together. And I think the I think the H and K system represents an opportunity to uh, to shorten the weapon without having to deal with the uh, functionality issues that, that seem to pop up with shorter guns.